thanks for joining us tonight at 6. With more severe weather heading our way this week, that means more rain to fill up all the waterways around the Ozarks. All that extra water creates dangerous conditions, and ignoring the dangers of high waters can be deadly. You may remember it was fatal for two men who were kayaking last week on Bull Creek. Their kayaks capsized, and only one of the three men made it out of the flooded creek. So today, our Nisha McDonald spoke with experts to find out more about being safe on the water. She joins us live in Springfield from Lake Springfield. Nisha. Heather, today I spoke with some local paddling experts on when it's okay to head out to the waters and how to do so safely. Paddling's a really safe sport, but just like driving, there's ways to make it safer. Marty Zur of the Ozark Mountain Paddler says you really need to know the water that you're paddling on. Too high, it's no fun. Too low, it's no fun. And it's not safe if it's too high. Zur says it's important to know what you're doing before hitting the waters. Every car you see has a plastic kayak on the roof. And it is an expanding sport and it's really fun. If you're going to float on the James River when things are calm or Lake Springfield, you can probably do that and work your way up. But you shouldn't just dive into the deep end and uh, get in over your head. The Ozark Mountain Paddlers offer in the water clinics for those interested in how to safely navigate the rivers of the Ozarks. If you can't take a class, you can paddle with people that have more experience than you and learn from them just by watching them or asking them questions. Zer stresses the importance of being prepared. Yesterday when we paddled, I had a helmet on, I had a life jacket on, I had a skirt on my kayak so that the water wouldn't slosh into my boat. You just have to be ready for whatever conditions you're going to paddle in. Barry Doherty, owner of Beaver Creek Canoe Rentals, says to always pay close attention to water conditions. There's no reason to go out into the creek when it's that high. And if you're a novice and you don't know what you're doing, you definitely don't need to not just go out and float, but you need to stay away from these because the water can come from three feet, which is what it did here, to 20 feet in about four hours. Doherty says he's had to remove people from his campgrounds on an hour's notice due to rising water levels. Now again, as a reminder, make sure to wear some sort of a flotation device as well as check water levels before heading out to one of the lakes. And as always, if you can have one of the clinics, uh, sign up for one of the clinics so that you can get all of the safety tips before heading out. But for now, reporting live here in Springfield, Nigel McDonald, Ozarks First.